Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tony um, from Tony's Tutorials. Um, all right, today I'm going to teach y'all how to um, download and upload and install a theme to your PHP Nuke Evolution uh, website. So, uh, start off with going to the internet, and um, I actually use a really good website. It's called nuke-evolutionthemes.com. Um, all the themes here are free. Uh, they do got some that you can buy, um, but uh, why not get them for free if you can't? You know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, at this site you do have to be a registered member to get the themes. You just gotta register there and get that. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go to 207 themes just because I got version 207 uh, on my website here. Open this up. Websites are slow today. All right, this is just telling you all the stuff's copyrighted and don't, you can't claim it as you're the one that created it because you didn't. That's all it's saying. Um, so then you just basically pick a category and uh, sorry, I didn't tell you. Pick a category from up here and uh, select what theme you want to download and that's where you can download them from. I'm actually going to use this theme here for an example today. Um, I've already downloaded it on my computer, but you would just simply go to download and then you would select either save it to your computer or just open it with WinWar and once you close out WinWar uh, so it, will, it won't be saved on your computer or anything like that. Um, so that's where I got it, no need of saving it again. And then you're going to save it to wherever you want to save it or whatnot and uh, you're going to open up your FTP program. Once again, you're going to enter in your host, username, and password, and click connect. Um, after that, you're going to go into your public HTML or your HTML or htdocs, whatever one that you use. Then you're going to go to right here to where it says themes. You're going to double click on that. Right now, you're going to see you have two themes already on your site. Um, I'm going to go over here to where the theme is right here simply themes all right here's the theme I want to get the camo and then uh, you don't actually want to upload this whole folder into there you actually just want to upload just the content so you just go to the root and then theme here okay see this is what you actually want to upload but you don't want to upload this separate all, all individually sorry into right here you actually want to go one step back to right here to where it's giving you the name before all the stuff in that folder that's this is the only folder you want to upload if you upload any other other folders you will not be able to install your theme and it's going to give you a white page so make sure you have the right folder in there before you go to your site to install it and I'll show you how to double check it in one second once this gets done uploading here I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to sit here and wait through the whole time and then uh, I'll be right back when it comes back. Alright guys. Alright, so now you've got the folder uploaded here as you can see. In the checker you just double click on it and make sure, okay, you got all the right folders. This is the right folder that you've uploaded. So now it's safely to go to your website and actually install it. Um, what you're going to want to do is actually come to your website and then you're going to want to get into your admin panel. Once you're in your admin panel, then you're going to see where it says theme management. You want to click on that. And then right down here, you're going to see AOG underscore camo. That's the theme I just got. It says uninstalled. So simply just go to install. Then it's going to ask do you want to make it active, yes or no. And who do you want to view this? All views, uh, all visitors. Sorry, uh, groups only or administrators only. Uh, I of course want to make it all visitors because that's going to be my default theme here. And then um, tells you you got some advanced theme options. Um, I've never ever uh, messed with these um, just simply because I didn't want to change the color. I don't like the theme the way it was. Um, so then you just go to install. 
and it's going to say theme installed go back return to theme management let's go back to theme management and you're going to see now that theme is now activated but it's not the default theme so you're going to click over here and you're going to click on this right here it says make default and just like that you just change your theme I hope this video was uh, helpful and uh, don't forget to uh, add me onto your subscribers on YouTube. Thanks.